all right this is gonna be a quick shootout video between the two cheapest uh, circuit testers you can buy and on the right side we got the Auto BT 160 this was previously one of my favorite tools to use uh, my number one favorite tool by the way to use as a circuit tester is this one the KM 50 it's the new generation of uh, I forgot the name KM 10 I believe and the KM 10 don't even waste your money these are the same price always get the 50 never buy the KM 10 it's slower older this is just much better much improved I, my KM 10 I haven't used it since I started I went to this one but I still use these um, these are very close to having a classic uh, test light like this you know everybody knows this you know you can get these really cheap harbor freight these are like what three to five bucks something like that you know you just plug this to your let's say your negative you hit that on positive in fact let me just do that right now i just connected it up here to my uh negative i hit the positive and boom you get your light right so everybody knows that um but this these you know give you injection and different things so this was my previous favorite like i said the l2 bt 160 so um if you touch this one to ground it's live and that's what i like about it there's no circuitry no nothing it's kind of just like the test light it's analog it's just you know the circuitry just to tell you that you know to put that led green or red that's it so now i'm on the positive side and you see it's red and you've got full injection as well and it's straight through no circuit breaker so if you actually hit this on the ground it will spark and it will you know light up until something burns out so that's one thing to know about this you also got your ground here as well you can inject ground on any circuit now this is actually the real deal here this is the uh all of sun em287 that's it has different names but it's always pretty much em287 you can find this on ebay amazon surprisingly on amazon it was only 22 bucks this was about 20 bucks on ebay i bought it a few months back um but this is to me hands down the best and the cheapest tester you can get right you when you go over to the test side you've got um basically the same thing as you have here but the weak thing about that there's no beep so sometimes it's kind of a pain to see the light and it's no buzzer so you don't know when you're on something or not sometimes you got to look for that light and if you're in a bad position it's hard to see sometimes or to see how strong it is and things like that whereas this basically takes over all the the kills all the cons that this has it's just for the price two dollars more you don't don't even waste your time man this is to me a killer tool right here for 22 bucks i'll grab this something for something really quick or, you know only when i need something detailed it's really fast so it's pretty much straight through just like a test light or this tool that's one of the reasons why i always grab them if you want to see about that test i did a, a shootout on all these tools from the cheapo like this all the way to the you know the big fancy ones um so check on my other videos and you can see that it's in my um on my channel all right i'm gonna unplug it just so you can see it does have actual circuitry in this one it's not just straight analog as you can see you see how it starts up and one thing that is strange but it's a still a good feature it has a very long uh your negative cable on this one i've never seen one this long before which is good it's not a bad thing at all um but they're usually way shorter than this less than half of this um but to turn on your actual light here you got to touch the ground right so this is your ground of course coming from you know anything about test uh, test uh circuit testers so you just touch it to ground and it will um activate your uh light it's weird i don't know why they wouldn't put a button i try to think like uh, i don't know anyway but yeah that's it um this does not accept it's removable but it it doesn't accept uh you know optional it's basically a threaded head probably like uh i don't know the dimensions or whatnot but it can be removed and uh you could probably thread something in or you know thread a wire in there you know that's one option you have with that whereas on this tool it is fixed um yeah as i said once you're on the test side you've got injection but you've got it with sound so when i touch uh this is ground see that i got green and i got that sound that tone for green and it's instant 
it's not like a uh, circuitry like you would find on these by the way this one is very fast compared to like the km10 it's very fast not as fast as something like this that's that's straight through you can do this like as fast as you can do it and you can get pick up everything right and vice versa on the positive side different tone for positive and and as fast as you can go it'll pick it up whereas on these with a lot of complicated electronics it's not as live and as fast but it's pretty good this is one of the best right and of course you can go just as fast with a, a test light right because it's just straight through um the good feature also is the voltage right so i'll be able to put here on the negative and of course i have nothing because it's negative it's not going to show voltage but on the positive side it will you see my battery's up to 12 and a half volts so let's say if it's 12.7 you cannot see that right because the next level up would be even if it was 13 volts right now i wouldn't be able to see that that's the only thing right it's not that tuned right so it has to meet at least 13.5 to get to the next level so if this battery if i wanted to know if this battery was at 12.7 or 13 volts I cannot tell you that with this tool for sure, right? You would need a multimeter or a tool like this that can pretty much give you direct voltage, right? But um, this is definitely very handy. And for 22 bucks, let me tell you something, there is nothing, I've never seen a tool that can, you know, do all the things. I'm about to show you right now one of the main features I like about this tool. Um, you can use this as basically uh, oscilloscope somewhat. Um, you can look at pulse waves, right? So I've done this tested on fans, um, the fan circuitry, right? On the new modern cars where there's a pulse wave signal. You just, I just connect it to the signal wire and I can watch the pulse just pop, 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 pop. And as I modify the fan to a different speed, then I can see that pulse change. Pop, 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 pop. And you can, that's how you can verify it and make sure that you're actually getting proper signal on certain cases. And for 22 bucks, man, that's really good. Normally you're gonna need something, you know, a bit better to do that. But, you know, this, I'm telling you, this is an excellent tool for the price. Um, let me show you. Let me show you also uh, the scope feature, how you can use it to see a pulse like a, of a square wave. So check this out. All right, here's something neat about this tool, this EM287. Here's what um, it can do. Let me show you. Um, if you put it into the uh, voltage setting like this, you can then read uh, voltage, of course, and it'll dial up the lights to basically where your voltage is reading at. So let me get this one kind of in place. Got kind of low battery right now. And this is reading at right at, uh, you know, under nine volts, right? Um, I'm using this to troubleshoot an issue currently on this truck. So to show you what it can do, this is, is going to give me a square wave, right? Let me get a good grip on it here. Okay, this signal is going to be a square wave. And you can watch. Hold on, watch those lights. By the way, it kind of looks like it's pulsing right now, but it's not. It's just on the camera. So I'm going to turn on the ignition, which is going to cause a square wave. Actually, it's off now on see that that was the square wave that just went across I'll do it again so you can see it dialing up and down from it was basically pulling down the current down to like two volts or below see that so that's how you can look at a square wave with this scanner that's one of the features that it's helpful for you know um, of course you can go to test and then you're just like a normal circuit tester. So I'm reading a positive current right now. And I could also inject positive or uh, negative, and it has the speaker on it. All right, now I'm gonna show you what that same square wave looks like on the KM50 that has the oscilloscope feature, which I'm in already, and that same signal. So I turn the key on, and I'm at 500 uh, at the time divisions. And you can see the actual square wave, all right? So that's just to show you one of the features of that, the uh, <clears throat> EM-287.
it's pretty helpful and you can inject of course you know power ground all right now that you've seen that um leave me a comment tell me what you think uh do you have do you know of any other tools that could probably compete with something like this at 22 bucks i don't think so um share something with me down in the comments but to me like i said for 22 bucks you can't beat this at all this is you know it, it's it's excellent you know uh, i can't say the reliability of, of it but what it does for 22 bucks oh by the way it does have uh, a circuit breaker on this i forgot to add that so if i'm injecting actually i gotta go let me go to the uh, test side so i will inject i'm at um injecting voltage this is the negative on the battery terminal right so i'm gonna hit it you see that you see what the light did it reset the whole device see that so there's a circuit breaker on there so if you did want to test also like that i do that test a lot to test the ground if i know it's just straight to ground and not on another circuit i'll hit current and you know hit it and see if it resets my tool that's a way to test if you got a good ground as well um but if you have some something like this there's no circuitry circuit protector on there so it'll just keep that until something blows like the tool burns up or whatever you know and this also has a quick circuit breaker as well um yeah um yeah well like i said leave me some comments tell me what you think don't forget to like and subscribe anything you want to see any kind of test or whatnot let me know down in the comments um i got more videos coming up soon Oh, just forgot to add, it does come with this little um, uh, Velcro tie, so you can wrap the cable up with it. Um, this one didn't, and I have one which works just fine. I made my own, right? But just something minor I'd add that I forgot to put in there. But yeah, like I said, man, excellent tool. This is good. For $2, you get more. You get something. Forget it. Out of this world, man. This, by the way, doesn't even have an LED light, you know, in the front. This has the LED. It's got, you know, tone. In fact, I bought a speaker. I was going to modify this and put a speaker in it because I needed the feature so much. But the hassle to open it and do this now, and I found this for 22 bucks. Forget it. You know, uh, that speaker is going to sit there and rot, you know. Um, like I said, if you want to go cheap, you need to just... Uh, yeah, if you need to go cheap, this is the tool for you a hundred percent guaranteed this will get the job done you can you know i think you could pretty much handle all jobs with this most jobs really that you need circuit testers Alrighty, righty till the next one